guys, it's Cheyenne, and today I'm going to be doing a summer favorites video, like throughout, like my favorites throughout the whole summer, and yeah, I hope y'all can hear me okay too, because there's noise going on outside and stuff. Let me just start with the beauty products that were my favorite throughout the whole summer. In the summer, I really don't like to use my foundation, found, like my Elizabeth Arden foundation, like the full coverage, because I don't really need it but I've just been using the Elizabeth Arden Sheer Light Illuminating Tint and Moisturizer. And what it is, is like, it's like Lumi. I know there's foundations that are called like Lumi and stuff like that. But this is exactly what it is, but it's just a moisturizer. And it's tinted, so it still gives you a little bit of coverage, but it's not like when you go outside, it's going to melt off and stuff. The next thing that I really didn't know if I would like it it's the Baby Skin by Maybelline uh, Instant Pore Eraser. It's just a little tube one. I think this was about $5 because I go to Rite Aid because I have my Rite Aid card and it's probably more expensive to go there but it's like usually buy one get one half off or something. So I was like maybe I should just try this. So I got this for $5 and it really seems to work like with my makeup and stuff. I use it I use it as a primer also. I was using this um CoverGirl instant smoother thing, but I just traded this one cuz the other one was just like a solid. It was weird. I didn't like it that much. But this one works really good and I would suggest getting it because it just minimizes your pores and just smooths out your whole face. Oh my gosh, like I don't know why I haven't noticed this one before. I haven't even I don't know why I haven't picked this mascara up. It's the um, Bombshell Volume by Lash Bl Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast. Oh my gosh! Like this is my favorite mascara by far. Like it's just, it's a miracle mascara. It helps like with my eyelashes. Oh, it's really bad lighting. But I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it just makes them look like they're false eyelashes, and I don't even have to try and put false ones on because I can't. But yeah, it's just, um, the, there's two sides to this. You just take it, and it's like one brush, it's a smaller brush, and it's for, um, to add volume to your lashes, and then the other side is just to intensify it, I guess, with the black color, if I can get it open. Yeah, like that. But it's really good. Like, I'm going to probably buy five more of these, so... I'll have just have backup just in case. The next thing that I have on my lips now, I don't know if you can really tell because the lighting sucks in here. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Mega Last, and it's in it's 924A, and it's click on my hyper pink. I don't know about the name, but it's really pretty. It's like such a pretty color. Let me see if I can. And like, they don't lie when they say it's mega lasting. Like it said 24 hours, yeah, it's like paint on your lips. But you have to be careful too, you need to moisturize your lips before you put it on. Because if you don't, it'll just be like cracked and it's not pretty. But this is the swatch of it. I don't know, I've been seeing green lipsticks, which I know Lime Crime. I really want some lipsticks from Lime Crime, but they're so expensive. They're literally almost as much as MAC lipsticks. They're that expensive, but they look amazing. So I may have to just buy some and then show you guys how they look. The next thing is the Color Tattoo Pure Pigment and it's in Buff and Tough, 60 Buff and Tough. And like, it's just that color. Uh, just that color. What I learned on Pinterest is you can get a white eyeliner and just put it all on top of your lid and then put like this stuff over it and it makes it pop out even more. I don't have this on today. I have the Naked 3 palette on today that I wear every single day. But yeah, this was also my other favorite too. It's just the, one, the Revlon Photo Ready Kajel Intense Eyeliner and Brightener. And I usually put this on my waterline right there to make my eyes look even more big or to make my eyes look bigger than they are. Um, the next thing that I really, I don't know why I haven't had a gel liner before 
but it's the um, Maybelline Eye Studio Black is Black Gel Liner in the little paint pot thing. And it's just that. And it came with a little brush and stuff, but I love it. Like, I can use ah, a little pencil velvet, velvet thing that you put on your eyelashes. I tried to do wing liner with that, and I just couldn't. Like, I would always mess up. But this is so much easier, I'm telling you. If you can't do wing eyeliner, I would do this. Because it's amazing. And it stays on, and it's just, oh my gosh. it's just I'm in love with all these products that I'm showing you. Yeah. The next thing... Is I have I had a lot of fashion favorites this summer. I had a bunch of stuff, and I don't really want to show everyone all of that because it'll take forever. Because I bought a bunch of excuse me a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna show you like my favorite shoes this summer that I got, and just a couple of shirts just to show you guys like what I really like wore. Um, first there's these shoes and it has a little cutout and stuff I got it from DSW for eight dollars eight dollars that it was an amazing deal I had like this twenty dollar off coupon too so I got another pair of shoes that I'm going to show you but these oh my gosh they're so comfortable too it's just like you're not even wearing a heel like it doesn't even have a heel they're so comfortable but it's just probably my favorite shoe right now and I can wear it into fall and everything like that and it'll just go with anything and it'll edge up your style a little bit like I could even wear it with this dress that I'm wearing and it'll look cute so good they're pink and pepper the brand I don't know I've never heard of them before I just like the shoe style and they had a lot of good deals at DSW so if you're looking for back to school shoes you should go and get some from the clearance aisle or the, yeah, the clearance section, because I got those, they're 80% off, so they're originally like $50, so I got them for 8 and it was just like, wow. I got the $20 off coupon, I got another pair of shoes, and they're just these heels, they're so pretty, it's just like a weird, like the strap, I don't know if you can see the space right there, yeah, the space right there, and like that, they're so pretty. I'll have to get gel liner too, like a gel liner for the inside of it. But other than that, it's really pretty shoe. I wore it with this dress that I haven't worn in forever. I don't even think I ever worn it before, but it looked really nice with it. And it was, it's called Report. I don't even know what that is. It's like in cursive, so it's Report something. But you can get them at DSW. And they were, um, these were originally eighty dollars, and I got them for twenty three because of the clearance. And they're really good. I got these little pumps, little heel on the bottom. I got them at Goodwill for two dollars. Yeah, two dollars. I cleaned them and everything, so it's just not. It's not like I'm gonna get a disease from it. But they're really nice, and they're comfortable to be pumps. Like they're really nice. And I don't even know what it's called because it's worn out. But I meant like. I don't know if y'all can see the detail. It's like a snake skin detailing it's really pretty with like black jeans and a chambray shirt and stuff that's what I wore it with my next favorite shoes that I got because we have been doing Zumba at our church so I was like hmm I already have a pair of Nikes but I wanted a new one and I wanted the Roush's 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 ones but I was like I don't know so they got the new one I think they're called Kajai or Kajai or something like that they're the newest Nike ones. They're a lot similar to Roush's. Roush's. I don't know how to say it. So I'm going to call it Roush's. And you just, they're like, they have the thick heel. They have the thick heel right here. And it's just like not hard on the front. So it doesn't hurt your feet and stuff. And it's very flexible. They feel really good whenever like I'm working out or doing Zumba or something. They don't slip or slide because they have little grips on the bottom. The one thing that I've been obsessed with is plaid button ups oh my gosh i've been obsessed with it this is actually a guy's plaid button up from old navy but i got it at goodwill for two dollars too but you can get everything for two dollars at goodwill it's just amazing amazing prices and i like to just put them over like last night i wore like a crop top with leggings and i tied this around my waist and stuff so like my butt wouldn't show and everything 
It's just so cute. You can wear them with basically anything. Like the style nowadays is just put a plaid shirt over it and it'll look cool. That's really the style of it. I've been wearing a lot of those. I also have this color that I got forever ago from Aeropostale. I just love it. It's like more like a folly slash summer type color, but it's really good for just like throwing it on. I could throw it on over like a little dress or something. But thank you for watching and I will be getting another video out pretty soon, I promise. So yes, thank you.